Mall chaos. A night of fun ends in arrests after high school students switch from dancing to fighting. Good evening, I'm Max McGee. We're learning tonight about a Friday night brawl at East Point Mall. Baltimore County Police say an event billed as the official all high schools March Madness party drew hundreds of teenagers. Fights broke out and police were called to disperse the crowd. WJZ is live. Pat Warren has more on what one witness described as a mob scene. Pat. Yes, police say that the mob scene took place around 930 last night. What was supposed to be a party turned into arrests and pepper spray. Police say hundreds of kids showed up at East Point Mall last night for the event advertised on this flyer. The size of the crowd caused mall security to shut down the event and fights broke out. It was all types of chaos. It was just like hard to really focus in on, what, on one thing because there was so much going on. There's at least 300 juveniles in this parking lot area trying to break into cars, damaging the fronts of businesses. Baltimore County and Maryland State Police were called in to disperse the crowd. Police officers were swarming. It was just like... Like, I can't even describe it. It was just everywhere. It was people running and fighting and banking, and it was just a whole bunch of chaos. Police used pepper spray to break up the fights. Nine juveniles were arrested. Today, police tell WJZ the mall contains some unleased areas that management rents for private events. Not sure if the mall management was aware of the size of this party that was advertised and a number of, of juveniles that were going to be there. In a statement, East Point Mall says the size of the crowd caused the mall security to shut down the event. We are fully investigating the event. At East Point, we take safety and security very seriously, and we will continue to do all we can to make everyone's experiences at East Point safe and enjoyable. Things like this make you not want to come out because you you know you don't know who's going to be people getting stabbed, people banking. You don't know what's going to happen. It could be you, even if you're not even a part of no conflict with anybody, you could become a victim of it. There is no report of serious injuries. Baltimore County Police do continue to investigate a robbery that took place during the disturbance. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.